The CNBC 2024 Disruptor 50 list unveiled today. OpenAI topping the list, coming in at number two, though, Andrel Industries. It's an AI-powered defense tech startup, which added 1,400 employees last year, has a $10 billion valuation in the private market. Andrel CEO Brian Schimpf joins us now from their headquarters. Brian, it's great to have you on. Congrats hey, on the list. Thank you very much. For, I'm very appreciative for being on the list and I appreciative for having me here today. Thank you. Yeah, well, overtime viewers are, are familiar with the company, but if we do just take a step back here, I mean, call it 10 years ago, before SpaceX, before Palantir, which is, I know, where you cut your teeth. I mean, nobody was talking about defense tech. Nobody was talking about disrupting uh, the aerospace and defense industry. And now it is very much a hot topic in the investor world, in part because of Andrel. Walk me through the business model and how you're shaking things up when we talk about the military industrial complex. Yeah. So, you know, when we started out, um, you know, I think still a lot of people believe we're in this time of peace and that working on defense tech wasn't a critical problem to solve. But then Ukraine was invaded and Putin, as well as all the other hostilities that have occurred, reminded the world that peace and security are not assured. So since that time, defense has become incredibly popular. And I think it's a fantastic thing for national security that there is so much interest in bringing new and innovative solutions to how we can actually use technology to deter conflict. From our perspective, what has made us successful is we first and foremost focus on understanding our customers' problems. We really partner with them, where we often say they deeply understand their problems, but they don't often understand what is possible to solve with technology today. And then we use our own capital to actually invest in those technologies and get them fielded faster than what has historically been done on defense timelines. Great example of this is a capability we worked on called Roadrunner. This is a counter drone missile that we went from napkin sketch to fielding in about 24 months. And it was really designed around how do we solve a pressing and urgent need that the Department of Defense had. Mm. Um, and that is a different business model, just to make it clear, in terms of putting your own money forward to develop the technology to then bring it to, for example, the Pentagon and say, here, here's what we've developed. Here's what you can, you can deploy to the battlefield much more quickly. Um, so in light of that, I, when I think about Andrel, I think about a company that is a software company and is basically building the hardware to house the software and enable the software. So where do you see the greatest opportunity to sell into the Pentagon, to sell into um, other militaries, allies across the world right now? What's growing the fastest? Well, one area we were recently won a competition on was this collaborative combat aircraft program. It's a loyal wingman program is what it's commonly known as. And the idea here is, you know, kind of fighter jet, autonomous fighter jets that go alongside uh, manned aircraft like F-35s. They go out in front, they can sense, they can keep the pilots back out of harm's way, uh, and they can do this for a tenth the price of the equivalent manned fighter. Uh, huge credit to the Air Force. This is a uh, the largest investment the department is making into autonomous technologies. We went through an extensive competition where we were selected as one of the providers that has uh, the best performance and price and able to meet the schedule and in a very aggressive schedule that they want to roll out. And I think it's a huge watershed moment, not just for us and our ability to demonstrate that we can solve complex high-end defense problems, uh, but that the department has believes there's something really novel to be had from new entrants bringing new approaches to the problem set. Brian, tell me more about that novelty to help me understand the, the modern battlefield. What's the equivalent of high ground in a, a drone and AI-influenced, uh, you know, threat space and battlefield? Well, a lot of the way we've approached the problem is to look at how can I have more systems that are smarter in the environment? And this is an area where we believe that AI can be incredibly effective which is just the sheer number of systems and fights that you see happening in Ukraine is overwhelming. Understanding what is happening, uh, dealing with all the jamming, these things become a really critical, hard to understand problem. And the ability to have large quantities of systems that can actually respond to those problems and enable fewer and fewer soldiers to be effective, we believe that is going to be some of the critical technologies for the future of warfare. And that's really where we're pushing it, is these lower cost, higher volume, smarter systems, we believe that's going to be determinative of the nations that are successful going forward.